So when patients come into hospital for an osteotomy, they'll come in the morning of surgery, they'll be seen by the anaesthetist. They're often younger patients, so we'll have a general anaesthetic, it may be a spinal anaesthetic, depending on the individual case. The operation takes about an hour, we put it down to a fine art these days, so it's not a very lengthy procedure. The average hospital stay, which does vary, but our experience is that they're staying in two to three days. Here's a basic checklist of reminders and things to be aware of before you come into hospital for your osteotomy surgery. A few weeks before your operation, you will attend a pre-assessment clinic where a thorough medical assessment will be carried out to make sure you are fit enough to cope with the surgery. Now, I just need to ask you some medical questions. At pre-assessment, you'll be medically checked to make sure you're fit and well, that you have no infections, and uh, you'll be, have a chance to see your doctors and discuss the operation with them. At the clinic, you'll go through a number of routine tests, including urine, blood pressure and ECG. You'll also be screened for MRSA and MSSA. This appointment is a good opportunity to speak to the medical team and go through any questions you may have. You'll also be asked to sign a consent form. Remember, many of the same tests will take place when you come into hospital for the operation itself and you'll be asked to sign the consent form once again. I'm always very impatient for things to recover really quickly and um, it didn't recover as quickly as I would like. I was up and walking but I would have liked to have been up and walking without pain immediately um, but it was very sore um, and uh, it took I guess about um, two months before I was um, really pain was right down below the level it had been before. An osteotomy around the knee is a pretty major procedure and it will affect your life in the weeks after surgery. Here are a few things you need to be aware of before you come into hospital so that everything goes smoothly after the operation. Remember, it's likely to be at least six weeks before you're allowed to drive after your osteotomy, so you'll need to arrange transport to and from the hospital before your operation. Most patients stay in hospital for two to three days after surgery, and you should expect to be off work for anything from six weeks to three months, depending on the type of work you do. The medical team will discuss this with you at the pre-assessment clinic. Be aware that any teeth or skin infections could mean that the operation is delayed. Make sure that you've been to the dentist recently and get your teeth checked out because any gum infections or tooth infections uh, can affect whether you have the operation. Don't have cuts, scrapes or bruises uh, or uh, damage to your legs prior to the operation because that will postpone you. If you'd like more information, check out the osteotomy booklet which you can find in the resources section of the website.